everyone, welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. In this episode, we're going to have a look at the urinary bladder, and this is a special thanks to uh, Nathan Swales, Dr. Nathan Swales from the University of Iowa, who's given me permission to use his virtual microscopy database slide uh, from their collection. Um, so let's start our three minutes. So this is actually a longitudinal section of the urinary bladder. Uh, so if we zoom in, we can see this lovely urinary epithelium or um, transitional epithelium on the surface here. We've got these lovely domed cells, which are the umbrella cells on the surface. And um, if you watch the other video when I looked at the, the ureter, these uh, surface cells have within them um, a sort of an accordion-like expansion ability uh, by having these intramembranous plaques which enable expansion of the cell membrane as your your bladder fills up these uh, this epithelium stretches these flatten out and appear almost squamous so this is actually quite a relaxed bladder because these um, umbrella cells are quite dome shaped uh, so this is the transitional epithelium. Um, again, it's got lots of tight junctions between the, the epithelial cells and to, to create this waterproof bag, basically, that is able to expand to accommodate uh, the urine. And then we have a lamina propria. And then we have uh, three layers of, of muscles. There's a blood vessel here. Uh, so if we move out, this is the denser regular connective tissue. You can see big, thick collagen bundles here. There'll be lots of elastic fibers here too to enable that expansion. Um, and then as we move out, we can see this first layer. Uh, remember, this is a longitudinal section, so this is actually an inner longitudinal layer of muscle. One thing you might notice is you've got these big collagen and uh, extracellular matrix fibers in between, and it's not the muscle arrangement isn't uh, in bands like we see in the gastrointestinal tract. They're in sort of these less regular, uh, more haphazard arrangement of these bands. So again, um, middle innermost uh, longitudinal here's our middle circular layer these are transverse sections so the the smooth muscles coming out at you and then if we go out again we've got another outer longitudinal layer so we've got these um uh, three layers to our, our smooth muscle so innermost longitudinal middle circular outer outermost longitudinal so we've got these three bands and of course um, this uh, smooth muscle is known as the detrusor muscle and um, obviously it's under the, the um, control of um, the autonomic nervous system. And during the mitrician reflex, um, it constricts and forces the urine out uh, through the urethra. Um, so those are the major features. If we can sort of go on the outside, we can see this lovely uh, serosa on the outside, a simple squamous uh, connective tissue, uh, epithelial lining with connective tissue, lots of uh, bundles of, of connective tissue fibers out here, some more smooth muscle on the outside there. So that's basically the overview of the, uh, the urinary bladder. Um, it's got those layers of mucosa, muscularis, and then a serosa. Those are the three bands that make it up. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. See you in the next video. Hooroo!